New technology is coming at us each and every day. New leaps create new opportunities. Who knew that one day we'd have the technology to make short internet list videos? But there are inventions on the horizon that will change the world even more than YouTube has. These are 20 incredible inventions that will change the future. Number 20. Virtual Reality Boots Virtual reality is a curious technology that comes in many forms. First off, it's something that humans have dreamed about in various ways over the years. For example, if you recall the holodecks or suits in the Star Trek franchise, well, it's that kind of reality. It was about putting yourself in a virtual space in a contained room and not feeling limited by being in that space. If you recall the film Ready Player One, well, that's the dream scenario for a VR world. To that end, virtual reality is something that we have in our world right now, but only to the extent of VR helmets like the MetaQuest or the PSVR 2. You strap them on, and even through special handheld controllers, you interact with the world. There are some where you don't even need the controller and can just move your head around to see what's all around you. If that sounds kind of limiting, well, it's because it is. Despite being advanced in context, VR is not something that everyone is willing to do, especially if you're not careful, because you can move around too much and break things or break the room that you're trying to have the experience in. That's where these virtual reality boots, known as the Ecto-1, come in, and yes, they are actually called that. They're a special pair of robotic shoes that you would wear while doing VR experiences and not have to worry about running into things. That's because these shoes have wheels on them, but they're designed in such a way that you won't have to worry about spinning out or rolling too far in one direction. Instead, they're designed to help your legs move back as you attempt to walk in the simulation and so, you basically stay in one place the entire time. They've been described as little treadmills by people who have used them, and that's a fair description. Yes, it's not exactly groundbreaking due to how bulky they are, but you can consider it a prototype for what's to come. If they're able to refine the process just a little bit, things will be so much better, and we could all get further into the true immersion that VR promises. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Hyundai, like many other car manufacturers, are always cooking up new and cool designs, and this concept vehicle, the E4U, is perhaps their craziest yet. Looking like some kind of weird egg, these odd one-person travel pods are designed to allow a person to zip around an urban environment without having to engage in the pesky chore of walking or pedaling a bike. Its movement is powered by a 24-volt battery that pushes 500 watts, enabling it to carry 176 pounds at a maximum speed of 18 miles per hour. These things have not quite yet taken off, but who knows? Perhaps one day they will. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. Invisibility Cloak Now, show of hands, when I said Invisibility Cloak, how many of you immediately thought about Harry Potter? It makes sense given the popularity of that item in the story and its relevance in the overarching plot. And you also have to admit, having a cloak that could make you truly invisible to everyone is something that's kind of enticing. But given that invisibility in our world cannot be done through magic, but through science, are we really close to having something like this in the future? Well, yes and no. On one hand, and it shouldn't be a surprise to you at all, various entities and likely the governments of the world have tried to make an invisibility cloak of some kind over the years. And there have been those that have gotten some results, albeit not in the way that makes them completely unseeable like Harry Potter. For example, there was one experiment with carbon nanotubes that was designed to be worn like a jacket and create a kind of mirage effect so that people weren't exactly sure what they were seeing. It was riddled with convoluted design structures, but it did kind of work. Then there are the metamaterials. These are special kinds of materials that don't technically make you invisible, but instead reflect the natural light around you so that you can't be seen. It's kind of complicated, but it works when it's done properly. The problem with true cloaking is twofold. If you think about cloaking devices in science fiction films like Predator movies, even when you're cloaked, your movements still theoretically could be seen as you pass by other objects. It may be faint, but light has to bend around an object, and so you would be spotted. Plus, the electromagnetic spectrum could still expose you in the right conditions. So, 
we have a ways before we get to true invisibility, but steps are being taken across multiple scientific fields. Number 18. Flying Cars Now, flying cars are the dream, aren't they? This is the thing that science fiction and TV shows have promised us over and over again for many years. Whether it be Star Wars, Mass Effect, Back to the Future, or anything in between, there were almost always flying cars going around and it made you want to have one. After all, driving on the road can seriously suck. But if you have a bit more free space in the air, not only will you have a better view, but you can get a bit more of a straight shot to your destination and theoretically have a shorter commute. But are you ready for the twist? We technically do already have flying cars right now. How could it be possible and where can you get one? Well, that's where the other twist comes in. You see, while it may be true that they have been created, they're not available to the public due to their cost. The government has spent years and millions upon millions of dollars trying to make flying jetpacks and cars, and other industries did the same for various reasons. The results were always the same. They could get them to work, but they weren't exactly feasible. And so, where does that leave us right now? In an interesting position, believe it or not, you see a big movement's happening with multiple car manufacturers and other transportation agencies where they're trying to develop their own version of a flying car for things like taxi services. The SkyDrive is one example of that, and Uber is trying to get in on the action. They feel that having these kind of cars will help to transport people faster with less hassle, and if they're to be believed, well, we could see flying taxis like these in our very near future. You may want to see how they do in the wild before getting one for yourself, though. You know, just to be safe. Number 17. Floating Farm From flying to floating, we're really getting around. And in fact, this next entry comes from the Netherlands, after some people witnessed a key flaw in the supply chain of humanity and felt compelled to fix it. In this case, in 2012, Hurricane Sandy hit New York City, Food supplies dwindled in a hurry, and because of the flooding, food supply trucks could not get in to help the people, making it so that people were starving. So what would be the solution to getting people the food they needed but not have to worry about floodwaters and other natural disasters? According to this team, it's to make a floating farm. At first, that may sound ridiculous. However, if you think about it, most major cities and lots of small towns have a close proximity to water sources. Sometimes it may be a massive lake or a set of rivers. And then, in a place like New York City, you're right next to the ocean. So if you could get it done, you could build a large farm that is sustainable on the water, and it wouldn't be overall affected if the water levels rise. Surely enough, in Rotterdam in the Netherlands, the first floating farm is up and running. If you're curious, the floating farm includes a pasture area, resting area, feeding station, milk and manure processing facilities, and a store for visitors. All of its power is sourced from solar energy panels and rainwater and is collected on the structure's roof. So, it's self-sufficient, it can grow both plants and take care of the cattle, and it has a gift shop. What could be better? The goal of these floating farms is to provide food and other materials to the cities that they're right next to in their time of need, and the city, via its natural byproducts, helps to keep the farm afloat. This is the kind of thing that would help many people in the future, so you may want to keep your eye on it. Number 16. 3D Printed Food Now, this next one is the future technology that you will want the most. Humans have to cook to survive. We need to eat, but sometimes cooking can be a chore. It takes the right ingredients, the planning, and of course the time to cook it all, and you have to hope it tastes good when you're done, and then there's the mess that's left over afterwards. But what if you had something that you could go up to, tell it what you want, and it's just going to create it before your very eyes? That's what Star Trek has to do with food generators, and what we might have in the future with 3D printed food. Are we this close to such delicious technology? Well, closer would be a better definer. 3D printers are a huge part of our society now, and just ask cosplayers, and to that end, some people are trying to swap out the components that make those printers work and just put in food stuff instead. To that end, there are 3D printer food makers out there. The problem is that like with most technologies, they haven't yet boomed. They're quite niche and incredibly expensive. Another issue here is that there are only certain ingredients that you can put into these printers to make specific kinds of food, and it's not instant like in Star Trek. 
trek, sometimes it can take several minutes to make the food, and the process itself is in the early stages by most metrics. The cars that we had today did not start out the way they did in the early 1900s, but you have to start with what works and then build upon it from there. Should we fully figure it out and learn to make this process more instantaneous, then the world will truly be a changed place. A very delicious changed place. Number 15. Self-Driving Cars this next one is ironic in all the ways that matter, including being rather hilarious given certain companies and their notions about what it means to have such an item. Self-driving cars are exactly what you're picturing. They're cars that can literally drive themselves and take a burden away from the driver. There are tons of shows that have dealt with this kind of thing over the years, including our personal favorite in the series Eureka, where the car worked with the asphalt in the road to ensure the vehicle got to its destination safely. It's easy to see why so many people would want this kind of thing in the world. First off, it means that we can do something else besides driving and trying to constantly pay attention. Let's be honest, we all struggle in that department. The second thing is that because humans are not the best drivers, we can get into accidents in the blink of an eye, but with the self-driving car, it could detect the issue and prevent it before that blink ever happens. Most models of self-driving cars that are in development use a mixture of cameras and sensors to detect both potential problems and the spacing between everything that's around it. Now, you may even have a car right now that's going to alert you with a light or a sound if someone's in your blind spot or if you're too close to something else. So now imagine it being able to literally take the wheel and attempt to prevent this kind of thing from ever happening in the first place. Are we all that close to self-driving cars? Well, not in the overall sense. There are some cars with self-driving features, such as being able to park themselves, but it is still quite the limited function. Then there are people like Elon Musk, who has promised self-driving capabilities with his Tesla brand, but that hasn't come to fruition yet. So for now, we just have to endure driving in the manual way. Number 14. Artificial Emotional Intelligence Remember when I said in the intro that sometimes we've painted a future for ourselves with technology and yet we've ignored the parts that clearly backfired? Well, here's an example of that right now. Artificial intelligence is easily one of the most important things in the world, whether we like it or not, or even realize that it's going on. More than likely, in your life right now, there is something that has some kind of AI. It may be your computer, your phone, maybe your gaming console, and it's pretty much everywhere that technology exists. However, it does have its limitations, including reading people's emotions. But with artificial emotional intelligence, that aims to change. People are trying to make it so that computers can be read and understand the emotions their users are feeling, and then adapt to that so that they can help them better or change certain tactics and results. What would this be used for? Well, a lot of things, actually. Imagine being able to read a group of people watching a video and having the computer tell you what they liked and what they didn't without them saying a word. Or how about a computer therapist that can better interact with a patient and see what they're feeling as they speak? Yes, it could potentially lead to Skynet, but we're clearly smarter people than in the Terminator universe, right? Number 13. Flexible Display have a look at your phone or computer screen, whichever you're using to watch this video, and tell me how flat is that screen. More than likely, you'll note that it's perfectly flat, because that's how it's designed, and it's been that way for a long time. The twist is that you really have to think about it. Having something perfectly flat can be hard to work around in a pinch. Like if you need to get up and do something, you have to constantly move around the entire phone or monitor to let it match where you're going. But what if you could bend it? What if you could shape it to do what you want to when you need it to change its shape? That's where these flexible displays come into play. They'll allow you to change how your screen looks without distorting the image that's on it, and that's quite the big deal. This can radically change how you view things and help you to get away from the rigid nature of screens as they are now. Plus, because of the materials they're made of, they can be as big or small as you need depending on your technology setup. It's all about being comfortable while you do things. Number 12, pod taxis. Now we've talked about cars and taxis multiple times, but here's a potentially revolutionary way of taking them to the next level. 
In places like India, the traffic is so incredible that it almost feels like a miracle that anyone can even get anywhere, and the idea of adding more taxis to that must seem kind of ludicrous. Except it's actually not, depending on how the taxis move. The system the Indian government wants to implement is the PDR, or Personal Rapid Transit. These will put new models of transportation into the air via rail, and then there will be pod taxis attached to those rails that will take people wherever they need to go. They'll be solar-powered, able to fit six people in one pod, and can potentially ferry around 15,000 people per hour. The first one was completed in 2023, and so if things go smoothly as they try to expand the system, we could see this kind of method of transportation in more traffic-heavy cities all over the world. And if it does work, it could severely lower traffic in key cities, which would help with pollution rates so it's winds all around. Number 11. Drones Now, drones were once thought of as being a niche thing, but they've become something that have spread like wildfire all over the world. They're used in sporting events, to do light shows in the sky, to set world records, and they are also used in military actions and more. So why am I mentioning them here? Well, simply put, because there's still a lot that can be done with them as they become further advanced. There are some people who truly believe that drones will grow in ability and number at such a rate that they could become one of the biggest transporters in the world. So just imagine that you're ordering something from Amazon, and then instead of getting it dropped on your door by a random prime truck driver, a drone flies to your house, drops the package, and then flies away. That's what a lot of people think could be the future. On the military side, there are some who are trying to augment drones to be better in combat or even take the place of soldiers in certain scenarios. So it could be that the world has not yet seen the full potential of drones just yet. Number 10. Robotic Exoskeleton Remember in Aliens where Ripley fought the Xenomorph in that mech suit? Remember how awesome it was? Well, imagine having your own robot exoskeleton, but on a much smaller scale. That's something that a lot of people, and yes, even the military, have been looking into for very basic reasons. If they could make an exoskeleton work, it could allow people to be stronger, faster, more endurant, do tasks more quickly than they could without the exoskeleton, and more. There have been some promising models in the field of science, and with a few more tweaks, we could see this being applied in multiple fields, which includes construction, research, exploration, and a whole lot more. Number 9. Solar Shingles Many of you have likely talked about or at least considered getting a solar panel or panels for your home so that you can lower your electric bill and help to save the planet, which is a very good thing. The problem is that depending on who you talk to, they can be a real big hassle to install, you'll have to have a big panel to absorb the sun, and more. It can be very impractical at times, but what if you could just literally replace the shingles on your roof with solar panels? That's an option that you have with the solar shingles. They are full-on mini solar panels that can be put on your shingles or replace them entirely. So, you could have a roof full of solar panels, and no matter where the sun may be, you'll be getting a charge from them while lowering your electric bill. Saving money is the best now, isn't it? Oh, and saving the planet, of course. Don't forget about that. Number 8. Edible Packaging As the old saying goes, waste not, want not, but sometimes it's obvious that humanity doesn't mind doing things that will be put to waste just so they can get the meaningful product out. For example, food packaging. While you can recycle most of it, that doesn't always happen, but what if there was a way to ensure that it wasn't wasted or puts the environment in any kind of danger? Enter edible packaging. Yes, really, and I'm not talking about edible underpants. This is a special kind of packaging that is straight up designed to be eaten by the people who buy the main food product that it contains. Or, should you not be interested, you could toss it out and not have to worry because it would be biodegradable. Obviously, there are some potential issues with this, which includes contamination and elements corrupting the packaging, but it is a clever solution to a problem that will need to be dealt with in the near future. Number 7. Edible Water Blobs Now, people really don't like the packaging we have now and they're desperate to get rid of it. 
Why else would someone want to make something called the edible water blob? Or as they like to call it, the Uhu. The Uho orb consists of water that's surrounded by a jelly-like membrane that's made of brown algae and calcium chloride. Mmm, sounds delicious. The squishy but strong gel-like container decomposes after four to six weeks if it's not consumed. It may look a little bit weird, but it does seem to work. You can eat the thing whole in order to get the water, or you can poke a hole in it and get the water before tossing away the casing and then letting it dissolve away. And they're also cheap to make, apparently. They cost just two cents per blob, which is way cheaper than plastic. The future of water containers as we know it? Well, only time will tell. Number 6. Nanobots Now let's get back to some true science fiction style inventions. Nanobots are the classic microscopic robots that can do things that humans can't because we can't reach the places that these tiny robots can. They would work in a swarm-like manner, communicating with each other and fixing whatever they're programmed to take care of. To be clear, while there are nanobots of certain kinds out there, they are not in mass production, nor are they being used like certain sci-fi films and shows do. But if they did get to that level, it would revolutionize so many industries and help to reduce the amount of work to fix things. It could also help with diagnosing problems in hard-to-reach areas and more. Of course, that almost means that they could turn against us via the AI that would inevitably control them, but one future problem at a time. Number 5. Zooming contact lenses. This next one is both incredibly brilliant and risky and kind of creepy all at the same time, but I'll let you determine why. In 2019, scientists at the University of California, San Diego made a special pair of contact lenses that could do something no other lens could do before them. Zoom into something in the distance. That's right, it acted as a kind of telescope whereby you could see something, blink twice, and the lens would zoom in. How did they do this? Ironically, it was not via motion. It was through electrical signals that humans emit when we blink. By getting the lenses to acknowledge that signal, it always knows when to zoom in or when to zoom back out. Some of you have likely noticed the problem with these lenses. If all it takes to zoom them in is to blink twice, well, that'll cause a lot of accidental zooms. But, you know, it is the first model. I'm sure they'll improve it, right? Number 4. Hydrogen Fuel Cells Here's a classic that has been proven to work in the past. It's just always had speed bumps. Nowadays, people are trying to figure out all sorts of ways to power cars without using gasoline. Solar power and electric models are the biggest and arguably the best way to go, but hydrogen fuel cells are another option. They use hydrogen gas mixed in with water and electricity to power the vehicle, and it works. Plus, like the other two, it's environmentally friendly. So why don't we have these yet? Well, first off, they can't be much more expensive than the other options. And secondly, it is not the easiest to extract hydrogen via the current process. That leads to the third problem. It can also cause an explosion in the car if something goes wrong. Number three, connected home. Here's a quick question. How many electric devices do you have in your home right now? More than likely, it's at least five, and if not, more depending on your hobbies or job. But one of the hassles of having all of these electrical devices is having to turn them all off or on separately because they're not on the same network. However, there are devices that can help with that. Connected home devices will enable people to connect everything that has an internet connection right into their phone and so they'll be able to control it with a simple touch of a button. This way, you don't have to keep looking for the remotes or pressing tons of buttons in order to get your computer up. You just have to activate everything via your phone, and then you're ready to go in moments. Number 2. Blockchains Now, I'm not trying to sell you cryptocurrency in any kind of way. Blockchains are usually attached to things because they're used for that process, but they are not specifically used for cryptocurrency. Very loosely, blockchains are meant to be a kind of decentralized space to save and store data, while also recording interactions with other computer systems. Because of this kind of system, the thought of having yours hacked or changed without your permission wouldn't even need to cross your mind given that everything is recorded system to system. It's not a perfect thing, obviously, and it has a blemish because of crypto, but in the future, it could gain your trust later on. Number 1. Sound Fire Extinguisher 
Before you balk at this, do note that Mythbusters did an episode about this concept and found that sound waves could actually extinguish a fire in the right circumstances. It can be an incredibly precise action to try and pull off, but it does work. They even put out a fire with an explosive, believe it or not. And that's why this new technology could be vital in the future, especially with all of the wildfires that take place. Specifically, departments are testing out devices, including one that looks straight up like a flying saucer, to emit sound waves that would act not only as loud noises, but also as intense pressure waves. And by doing this, they hope to remove the oxygen from the area that the fire is burning in, thus causing the flames to disperse. If they can pull this off with a meaningful success rate, well, it could be something that will save entire areas that are caught on fire. That's all from the realm of the future and the potential technologies that could help to define it if we pull it off. Having seen some of these inventions that are being worked on right now, which ones do you feel could truly change the world as we know it? Or perhaps you know of another invention that should have been on this list. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Also, you can check out all the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.